Hello chess friends and welcome to Zaros Chess Channel and welcome to the TCEC Cup Final. So this tournament is really a great format. We have 32 top engines battling in the KO system. So who loses is out and the Stockfish won the game against Chess 22k. Another great engine with the result 5 to 0. So in the last game I showed you the shortest game which was I think not the best game that Stockfish has played. The game that I wanted to show you today I think it was the best from the series and Stockfish Stockfish played really something else, a great attacking attacking brilliancy and it's in this King's Indian. So the King's Indian is always a tactical battle and uh, when I saw that Chess 22k got into an open battle against Stockfish, then I knew some wild sh is going on, I'm not gonna swear on my channel, but uh, here I really th uh, think uh, that Stockfish is really... Well, the steep calculations of Stockfish are really unbelievable and uh, going into this kind of dramatic battles is not a good thing. Uh, basically, Lila C0 or many of these neural network chess-based uh, engines are playing these positional games which Stockfish doesn't like so much, I think, and uh, here in this open battle you don't have any chances, I think, against this brutal, brutal Stockfish. So, King's Indian, we have, we prepared, this is really something else so c4 played by chess 22k uh d6 by stockfish we have uh, g3 g6 uh we have d4 uh, bishop on g uh, g7 and now knight on c3 we have the cards but variation of the king's indian knight on f6 and now knight on f3 castling and bishop on g2 so still common theory nothing special nothing fancy and stockfish already plays a very very interesting idea already in the opening plays the move c5 if you take d takes c5 it leads now to complications immediately because after d takes c5 you can try maybe bishop on e3 to attack the pawn on c5 but then then knight on c5 c6 is very dangerous if you take the pawn then queen on a5 uh, creating discovered uh, possibilities you have to basically bring the bishop uh, here in between because knight on e4 is a serious threat uh, of course the discovered attack against this lonely knight on c3 is very dangerous so uh, exposing the bishop on c5 is very dangerous so if you take here maybe the queen immediately on d8 queen takes on d8 and then bishop on c5 we have knight on d7 attacking the bishop if the bishop retreats, we have sort of a positional trade of piece of bishop on c3. And after uh, b takes c3, uh, here we have two weaknesses that um, black can attack. And then the simplified the variation without the queens on the board. There are no checkmate threats. Of course, you have some dark square problems here. Uh, h6, g, g7 and f6 are the weak squares around black king. But you need the queen in order to support this attack. So this would be also maybe a good continuation here for black attacking simply this this c4 and c3 weakness so uh in the continuation d5 was played by um chest 22k cementing uh the, the the center and now e6 which is a common idea to break the center with the move e6 uh, now we have a similar game to the benoni here castling was played and now rook on e8 uh, very nice move challenging now really white center uh, if you try something like rook on e1 we can again go into a positional battle i think after e takes d5 and c takes d5 we can go a6 and after a4 preventing of course the move b5 we can go simply bishop on g4 it's a common line here after e4 we can simply trade off and knight on d7 would be the idea to cement maybe the knight on e5 and maybe knight from uh, f to g4 and then again also c4 then mm, is uh, black black's main idea maybe rook on b8 even preparing here b5 moves uh creating this uh, pawn majority attack here on the queen side so these are the main ideas but uh, the game went into d takes e6 and now bishop takes on e6 it seems now that this backward pawn is a problem for uh for black and um, so far you cannot of course play immediately knight on b5 attacking attacking this uh, pawn on d6 because your c4 is hanging so that's why <coughs> here um, uh, chest 22k went into a very interesting line with knight on g5 attacking the bishop and the problem is uh, that this pawn on b7 is hanging and you can guess what stockfish does in this position doesn't care for this uh, pawn on b7 play simply bishop takes on c4 we have bishop takes on b7 and now knight from b to d7 uh here 
sacrificing the rook. If you try something like queen on d6 immediately, that was not played in the game, in the game chess 22k took the rook on, on a8, here you have simply rook on b8, and if you retreat with the bishop on g2, then bishop takes on uh, e2, it's a very powerful idea, and uh, the best way, believe me or not, is to continue here with a very very nice move, knight takes on f7. So it leads now to an equalized game, I think. Uh, we have king takes on f7, but now bishop on d5, very dangerous. After knight takes on uh, d5, queen takes on d5, you have to cover with the rook, but now knight on e2, very powerful. And then maybe to try to simplify the position with knight on e5, after maybe knight, queen takes on c5, we have knight on f3. So you see, you, if you trade off the queens, then rook on d8, and then you have to play something like bishop on e3, because you're... Uh, um, knight is hanging, but now knight on c4 is very dangerous, so you have troubles here around the b2, b2 square, and uh, this will be a simplified position. Black has still chances here, but uh, I think this game would end in a draw. So here, bis after bishop on a8, so here uh, chess 22k didn't take the pawn. Here we have uh, queen takes on a8, and see now the main idea of stockfish is, uh, is now to uh, simply attack this light square weaknesses that white has here in the position here queen on d6 was played sacrificing another pawn stockfish here but now uh, first h6 and now knight on f3 and here comes a very very nice and cool idea here by stockfish rook takes on e2 so if you play knight takes on e2 then bishop uh, queen takes on f3 you see this uh, uh, knight is hanging uh, so in the continuation you would be forced to play something like knight on c3, bishop takes, queen, uh, king takes to bishop on f1, but now knight on g4. Very very tricky stuff, prepared here by Stockfish, we have three pieces, uh, these piece, uh, pieces of whites are out of game, so this is really a great better continuation here for, for Stockfish. So you see, after this move, rook takes on uh, e2. Queen on f4 was played by chess 22k, getting back with the queen, getting into defensive setup, because you have to protect first this light score problems that you have around uh, around your king in order to defend somehow, get use of this um, um, exchange material that you have, of course. So, uh, bishop on d5, he played by stockfish, knight takes on e2, so very, very tricky. If you take knight takes on d5 here, then uh, queen takes on d5, and you have to play something like uh, h4 because if you try maybe bishop on e3 this is very dangerous because of uh, g5 and then uh, you lose the uh, the knight on f3 so uh, that's why here knight on uh, knight on e2 was played now bishop takes on f3 we have uh, knight takes knight on c3 and now knight on uh, knight on g4 so you see these pieces of blacks are really dancing now around uh, white king the idea is of course it has to be more prepared to play something like knight on pardon me bishop on uh, bishop on h1 and then queen on g2 checkmate it's hard now to find to find defensive pieces for, for white here in the continuation h3 was played and here a uh, very very again a tricky tactical shot here bishop on e5 first attacking the queen after queen on uh, a4 we have bishop on uh, d4. This is uh, preparation after potential queen takes on d7 or something like I don't know h takes uh, g4 doesn't matter to play the move bishop on h1 and the problem is that you cannot play this move f3 because the bishop is attacking the king and in the, in the next move you cannot be checkmated so basically what you have to do is maybe to give up the queen but again you threatening checkmate so the checkmate here is unpreventable so it's game over so you see uh, bishop on e3 was played by uh, by chess 22k and now bishop on c6 you see how uh, stockfish plays very actively with these pieces now the pieces are really in attacking formation the bishop is, is centralized the knight is very far away uh, here it's on the fourth rank it's attacking here this f2 weakness we have the bishop we have an attack against the queen and now queen on a6 was played now knight from g to e5 and now bishop takes on d4 so you see here uh, chess 22k tries to release the pressure somehow get 
rid of these pieces because we saw the problems here with the stocks per bishop so that's why here c takes uh pardon me knight takes on f3 was played with the with the counter attack here king on h1 and now we have a very nice move knight on d4 with the check so it's a difference than just to take here this uh, bishop on d4 with the pawn and f3 has to be played but now knight from uh d2 e5 and you see the problems this f3 weakness is unprotectable we are attacking the spawn four times uh you have to do something and here king on g2 was played and now well bishop takes on f3 with the check here king on h2 and now queen on b8 uh basically when you're playing with the bishop and the queen on the board uh, you want always the queen uh, to cover maybe here the dark squares and the bishop the light squares of course if we would have the dark square bishop then you want to attack with the queen on the light squares so this is the main idea and uh, of course to stockfish is trying now to open the position on dark squares with potential moves h5 and then also h4 and create some discovered attack possibilities some somewhere with the knight to jump and uh, this is again very very dangerous so here b3 was played because the b2 was also hanging so it again was really very really dangerous here around uh, white king and now h5 of, uh, of course with the preparation as i said to play the h4 and here queen on um, queen on f6 was played preventing this h4 move and now knight on f5 again with the idea to push uh, h4 and now knight on e2 it seems that uh, uh, white is simply giving up pieces now but what you do if you try to play h4 yourself then <laughs> it comes really dangerous then you have knight on uh, g4 you see you have to fork but the problem is not the fork the, the problem is that you're gonna checkmate it gonna be checkmated here on g3 so if you try something like i don't know rook on g1 here to get another defender of this g3 pawn then again very tricky stuff here h h4 simply uh, opening the position around white's king if you try something like rook on f1 i don't see a better move just in order to get some kind of a defensive piece then you see very tricky h takes g3 if you take then knight on uh, g4 again with the same idea if you take then again we have queen takes on g3 very nice checkmate so you see uh, this attacking formation here by stockfish attacking brilliancy and this knight on e2 idea by chess 22 comes with the idea just to simplify the position as much as uh, as much as possible here after bishop takes on e2 we have rook takes on uh, f5 g takes f5 and now queen on uh, g5 but here stockfish finds a very nice way to get out of this mess of course we have also this fork possibilities on on f3 so that's why uh, white is forced to lose the tempo which is decisive here queen on uh, h6 but now after queen on uh, queen on, uh, king on e7 again stockfish gets out of the way and the uh, uh, idea of blacks is of course to play something like bishop on f3 and then cement the knight on uh, the bishop on uh, e4 and it would be a compact position of course again you cannot play something like i don't know uh rook on uh, rook on e1 because again you get the fork and uh, lose the rook so here that's why queen on e3 was played here we have bishop on f3 rook on uh, e1 and now as i said bishop on e5 this is now compact position although you can take the pawn here queen on c5 we have king on e6 now um, rook on rook on c1 and now f4 played by stockfish if you try something like g takes f4 again it gets really dangerous stockfish is pre prepare, preparing these tricky moves all the time knight on f3 would be there if you try king on g3 then uh, h4 if you try king on f2 then queen on f4 and you don't have any more good checks if you try something like queen on c8 it's not a problem we can simply escape if you try to trade off the queens not a problem here queen on uh, d2 again and it would be a checkmate here with the bishop on d3 Poo, great great tactics prepared here so that's why here after the move um, uh, f4 um, chest 22k simply goes into simplifications wants to get rid of this annoying queen queen on c8 was played rook takes on c8 but now knight on f3 we have um, 
uh, king on uh, king on g2 knight on g5 first the discovered check king on h2 but now f3 now we have a pass pawn it's hard to catch up with this pawn because if you try to go somewhere with the king then we have knight takes on uh, knight takes on uh, um, h3 Th that's why this discovered attack f first was po uh, important to get this uh, knight much more active into the game here with this pass pawn it's basically game over but here uh, rook on c1 uh, chest 22 try to uh, get back with the rook but now bishop on uh, d3 with the preparation to play f2 and then of course uh, f1 with the promotion to queen then to continue the end game with one piece up and it will be a completely winning end game for for black of course a4 was played not a problem simply improving the position of the king king on e5 we have uh, b4 and now king on d4 very nice b5 now pushing forward we have um, uh, king on g2 king on e3 not allowing uh, to take this pawn here we have b6 a takes b6 g4 but now very nice move h4 and rook on d1 and in this position uh, white resigned because of course in the next move we can try simply promotion promotion here uh, rook takes on f1 king takes and we can take this pawn and of course you cannot uh, win this end game here so it's completely winning for black so again an attacking brilliancy by stockfish very nice uh, play in open in open center positions unbelievable how stockfish uses uh, these diagonals these files this knight activity the combined activity with the queen with the rooks with the bishops great great games and i really enjoyed this tcec cup finals okay meanwhile you can watch my other commented chess games played by computers and you can also watch my best chess game of all time if you want to see the best chess games that have been ever played in chess history and you can also watch my basics in chess series in which i show you opening principles mill game strategies and the end game strategies so it's sort of an interactive chess course with you guys and you can also subscribe to my channels if you like this content thank you for watching guys and chess is the best of course